Hello steam fans, this is my cutout model of a steam locomotive. Um, you got your steam chest here. This area here is the steam chest for those of you who don't know. This is where steam first enters the piston, and enters into the steam chest, and then is distributed to either the front side or the back side of the piston via a valve. This right here is a slide valve, which slides back and forth here, thus opening ports for admission and or exhaust. So um, this is a slide valve here. This is a good look at it. Try to get you guys a good look at it. And if it looks greasy, it's because it is. It is lubricated because this is actually uh, a functional uh, working, working model, which I will show you guys. I will make sure that I put a video of it running. This is pretty unique. But the piston slides back and forth the valve has timing to it to adjust the amount of steam uh, in the uh, in the piston um, for economy and for for power um, so you have an inlet hose here which I um, use currently my pump in my garage my car pump to actually operate this uh, unit but it's a very very cool uh, unique looking uh, unit Try to see if I can get you guys some good video of it. But yeah, so a basic operation of what actually happens in a steam locomotive is this. So let me rotate it to the end. Okay, so what you have here is um, well, let me show you the full unit first. So you have the piston. You have the valve. You got the steam chest. This is the this is the cylinder here. Uh, this is the piston rod here. This would be the crosshead. This would be this would be the crosshead here. This would be the main rod. This would be the expansion link. And uh, you know, there's a lot of different things that are missing or different in terms of this model compared to the actual to an actual model. Um, you would have your crank pin, eccentric rod, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. This right here is your reverser gear, which operates, um, it's in full forward or in the corner as they would call it, or you got your neutral setting, which moves the valve to the center. Um, and then you got your reverse. So, and then you got varying degrees in between based off of the, um, amount of uh, power you would need so at at full at full forward or in the corner you would be for m most of the stroke you would be putting piston you would put, be putting steam into the into the chamber that is then pressing on the face of the piston if you're in full gear forward or all the way in the corner as they would say um, then as you would get up speed, that was just that would be to get started. And as you get up speed, you would begin to uh, hook the Johnson bar, the reverser. You begin to bring it back because you would use less steam in here and more expansion. That means that the valve would cut off the steam admission to the piston sooner and allow the steam that's in here to expand and push, continue to push on the piston. So you're not using as much steam, and that's that's for economy. And that, that saves on water, that saves on fuel, that saves a lot. So at speed, uh, your, your uh, Johnson bar, reversal bar, are, is, is near center or pretty close to the center um, for economy's sake. And this, this, this is the uh, expansion link which allows that adjustment and that timing. Um, this would be the valve rod and obviously the valve. And that allows that adjustment for the valve to move back and forth. But what you have here essentially is a piston that is allowing, uh, it's in the center now, so when, it, when it's in the center or neutral, you don't see much valve movement at all, if any, and, and you can see it rotating here. But there's no valve movement. You can see the valve is just, it's just steady, it's in the center. So then you would hook it up you would push it say in the full forward gear and then now when we rotate it you see the valve moving 
in relation to where the uh, piston is because the valve the valve it's very unique how steam locomotives are designed as far as the running gear and the piston the valve gets its motion from the uh, valve rod this, which is connected to the expansion link and uh, so on and so forth which ultimately gets its uh, motion from the drivers from the wheels however it sets up the piston to receive the pressure needed to force movement to via the via the crosshead to the main rod and then to the wheel so the valve doesn't move on its own but it does create the setting for motion so it sets the piston up to move and as that movement is enacted then the valve is able to move as a result of that so it's a pretty unique uh, setup that it has but here you can see as I rotate it back and forth you can see how the valve moves and the valve moves in relation to uh, the piston so in this instance you would see steam is actually this is an outside admission uh, some locomotives are inside admission some are outside typically with these valves they're inside ad admission but the way this model is set up this is, happens to be an outside admission valve so what you have is steam coming in here high pressure steam is 300 psi from the boiler that would then rush this it would fill this chamber and it would then rush through this opening because the valve has just moved this way. We rush through this opening. Here you see it coming down here on the back side of the piston. It would then push the piston all the way to this end and you can see as the valve is beginning to move back it closes off both ports. So now no more steam is getting in and no steam is getting out. So what steam was left from the previous stroke gets compressed. Now once that, that, that compression basically slows down the speed of the piston and gets the piston ready for the return stroke which is you got a lot of rotational force that's heading towards the the uh, the piston head the cylinder head I'm sorry and to slow this down because this piston actually has to stop and then change directions and as that compression is taking place this steam is not able to get out so it's used as a cushion to cushion the piston uh, before it returns the other way so now as this continues to rotate it's, it's actually stopped now and what you have seen is this valve here has opened it has moved and opened so that compressed air can then uh, rush out now in this instance it's a little unique because it's like I said it's it's kind of backwards designed what happens is is that um, as it's it's compressed and then this this is um, this is closed off so no more this is cut off at a certain point this goes and cuts off any additional steam to come in so then now you move you move in on purely expansion so now this this uh, valve would move back and as this valve moved back the steam that's on the back side that just did the work of pushing it the piston this way now has the opportunity to come up here and escape through the inside of this and then out through this hole right there and as this chamber is still filled with 300 psi of boiler pressure what you have is now you have an opening for steam to come in on the front side of the piston to begin to push the piston back this way now the way the valve is set as far as timing is concerned you have prior to the end of this stroke what you have is this valve actually opens this valve actually opens it moves back this way I'm sorry it moves back this way as the piston finishes moving this way and that little bit of steam that rushes in there is part of what is used to field what is called um, the clearance uh, clearance space or clearance volume there's a little gap a little space in here that um, is additional space for clearance so that the piston doesn't smack the uh, the cylinder head and it's used for clearance so prior to this piston moving back this way prior to it finishing its stroke this way some of this this valve moves and some of that steam comes in on this side to 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 do what I, I just explained which is 
cause uh, a compression which slows down this piston and it also aids in um, the return volume of this piston because now you you're starting out with steam prior to the end of the stroke that is used for compression and when further steam begins to rush in you already have some steam in there to help push on the face of this piston and push it back so again that's a little sorry for the shakiness uh, guys um, that's a little let me get see if I can get you some clear picture there we go focus of what it looks like and it is lubricated because like I said it does function and I will show you guys uh, some video of it running but it slides back and forth and it's a neat little model and uh, there's a lot more detail that I can get into I can get very very technical and um, I wouldn't want to bore you guys with all of that but please uh, if you have any comments Make sure that you um, comment below if you have any questions or anything that you'd like to, to see. But I will show you what you, what you guys will see next is a, a video of this um, unit actually in operation. It actually worked. It's actually working. Uh, this is the, uh, like I said before, this is the expansion link. And this is what's used to make the adjustments from uh, full forward or in the corner. This will be full forward gear up here at the top. Let me get you to focus. Come on, focus. And then you have uh, reverse. Down would be reverse. This would be center. So that's in the center. And the top would be full forward gear, and this would be full um, reverse gear. And that would all that does is that sets the valve in such a way as to put steam on the front side of the piston on the back side of the piston depending upon what direction you want the locomotive to move and all of the force that is transmitted from the the piston rod to the crosshead trans, transfers to the main rod and then to the to the crank pin uh, on the drivers um, and that's how you that's how you get motion so what you'll see next is a video of this very neat, very cool little machine in operation. Please comment, please subscribe if you haven't already. Please stay tuned, give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Please share. Uh, and the next video you'll see is uh, the video in operate, the um, locomotive in operation, uh, the model. And please remember to, uh, if you have any comments or questions, just be sure to um, to put them down there. I'll do my best to get uh get to each and every comment and suggestion and question and to respond to each and every one of you thanks for watching alrighty guys we're all set up in my garage I have the uh, air pump set up and ready to go this will simulate the pressure for the boiler and then I have the model there set up on the curb there hopefully you guys can see it pretty clearly and I will uh, show you this this thing how it runs and here we go uh.